So let's draw the career paths out, right? Uh, so you're gonna have this thing here. Career path of the classic employee. So the classic employee. So what you're gonna do, you go to, you're gonna learn programming, whatever uh, spectrum you're gonna learn it, right? Uni, uh, self, how do you call that? The, the self-engineer like me, you can do that. So the thing is that with the classic employee, the problem is you're gonna have a three, three of these um, outcomes, right? So you're gonna have the mid job, well, the lower end job. Let's let's do that. Uh, that's gonna be I don't know 40k to let's say uh, 80k a year, right? Yearly salary. We need to make sure yearly, yearly salary, something like this. All right. Beautiful. Can we underline this? We can. All right. Uh, normal company basically maybe entry level i have no clue if you learn less than 40k i'm not quite sure what's going on but most of i think that's going to be kind of accurate right otherwise you're going to have some kind of an other job like a mid a mid entry job uh, it's going to be this thing i think it's going to be where the majority of the people are right and that's going to be i think it's going to be 80k to 120 or something um it's gonna be the mid, the mid tier, and then you're gonna have like uh, they say the Fang, uh, the Fang boys, uh, and they are gonna earn. Of course, depends on your age and ancianity or whatever they say that in Belgium they call it ancianity. The Fang, you earn a lot of money there, man. It should be 120. You're gonna earn up to 200k, sometimes even more, right? Uh, so this is basically this is Fang stuff, right? Netflix, Google. Classic employee, the problem is you can already see what happens with the classic employee, right? You need to understand that 200k a year or even 120k, even 80k a year is a lot of money. The problem is that you're going to do the same job, the same boring job. Actually, it's, it's going to get boring, right? Let's be honest. Five out of the seven days for eight hours. So what's happening here, you're going to keep yourself hostage for the rest of your life. For some people, this is fine. If you just wanna wake up, make go to your do your do your job, do the same stuff, right? You're gonna you're gonna block you're gonna block your learning experience because you're gonna do the same stuff. Even at Google, at Netflix, you're gonna do the same stuff, right? There is no way to learn something fancy. May most of the time it's not because it's business. Money has need to be made, features or need to be shipped, bugs or need to be fixed. But if you just want that, you go to your job, you work eight hours, come home, play League of Legends, play World of Warcraft, you'll play Counter-Strike with these beautiful sapphire skins. Uh, hey, that's fine. Some people are happy with that, and that's a choice that you can make, and this is perfectly fine. But you're going to be capped, right? You're going to be capped at money. You're going to be capped at time. You're going to be capped at freedom, which is time. You're going to be capped, the classic employee, right? Some other people are... Uh, the next career path is going to be this one, uh, which I took for a very long time. It's going to be the, how do you say that? The contract freelancer, actually, to be honest. People think, okay, I'm a classic employee. I want to be a freelancer, so I'm my own boss. Well, that's actually wrong because you're still going to work uh, for the same companies, actually, right? So what does a freelancer earn? Well, uh, let's say... I'm gonna take some real numbers. I think in Belgium, you're gonna earn entry, let's say 80k. Entry level freelancer, 80k. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm wrong. Guys, okay. that's what I think. That's what I, I, I invoice 6k a month when I started out. It's gonna be 80k, I think. So, but normally, if you have some experience and you're gonna have 180k freelance. The thing is that a freelancer is going to earn more, but there are taxes involved, right? You need to have taxes and yada, 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 yada. So by the end of the day, you're going to have, you're going to make some money. You have the opportunity to do some financial constructs, which the employee cannot. You're just going to get your money and you're done. If you're a freelancer, you're going to have some kind of a management, um, how do you call it? A management company. And you can have some constructs to mitigate the taxes, but still, your cap, well, you, you can only do so much work, you cannot duplicate yourself, so you're going to be capped as well, and you're also going to do this, and actually it's going to be way more, to be honest, as a freelancer, I swear to God, you're going to work six six out of seven days uh, for a boss, right, because say, hey, I'm my own boss, that's not true, um, 
you have commitments and you will need to put the code down. But you need to write the code. Freelancer is kind of the same if you're really brave and you're you're really good at constructing stuff and do some things on the side. A freelancer is something that is nice, right? So the next part is basically uh, you're going to start a company, right? And you have something, some other special thing that I did, right? You're going to start a company, the startup, the startup. The startup is basically uh, for the very brave people. What's going to happen here is... Uh, you're going to earn nothing, right? Actually, to be honest, it's going to be this. Minus 100. <laughs> you're going to earn minus 180k. That's what's going to happen with a startup, right? The good part is that a startup is never capped. And goal of a startup is not capped. How many startups do you need to make to get one successful? A lot, right? Maybe if you're lucky, the first one. But that probably is not going to happen. Uh, this is a bet, right? What happens if you do the startup thing? The most important thing, guys, I'm going to tell you is you believe in yourself. If you think you're the man or woman, if you think that Copilot is so good that you're so productive and so smart, if you think that lead code is going to make you a better engineer, if you think that your tech stack is so fucking good, better than everybody else, if you think you know everything, commenting on my videos, how I need to code, and how a bigot I am. If you believe so much in yourself, why don't you make your own company and get rich? That's a question I have for you. Because if you're so good, if you can solve problems, you can solve, there are so many problems to solve. You can build a startup. You can build your own company. You can have your own free time whenever you want. You don't have a boss. You don't have stand-ups. You don't have nothing. It's all up to you, right? Your coding skills is the only thing you have. Yourself, your voice, and your coding skills. A startup is you believe in yourself, right? You're betting on yourself. People are investing money in Bitcoin. People are investing money in, into everybody, but they never invest money into themselves because they don't believe that they can make it, right? Basic employee, the freelancer, the startup. Of course, if you come from university or you're just a uh, medium experienced developer, you're never going to start a startup because you don't have the experience. Right? So what is your best bet? What is your best bet to success, in my opinion, is to basically go for the classic employee path. But instead of going for these jobs here, you go for the low range. You go for the low range, but you pick startups to work for right you pick startups to work for you're gonna earn less money but you're gonna get stock options right you're gonna have freedom you're gonna have freedom why because there's there's no management <laughs> you know there's no management in a startup uh, there's no PR manager it's just you and somebody else right you have you can be creative you're gonna learn how do you say that is it hard skills, soft skills, I think it is? Other skills. Let's make other skills. Other skills. And by the time you have five years, if you do that for five years, because you need to vest your stocks three years, four years, right? Most of the time, you're going to hop, hop, skip, jump some jobs because, uh, some, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you're going to move around. That's uh, that's what everybody's doing. That's fine. But at a certain point of time, you will encounter a startup that really suits you. You're going to have a good connection with, with the other people, and you're going to stay there for three, four years gonna have your stock options vested is it are they gonna be worth something maybe maybe not that's the bet you need to take but you're gonna have a shit way of like you're gonna have a shit load of experience and this can basically be used to actually gonna start your startup or even on the side you can start it on the side you can start it in your free time whatever uh, that's the career path that I would take that's the career path that I took I was a little bit of a freelancer but uh, for a couple I think for two two years but yeah whatever um, you can combine them, right? You can come from here to here. So what m most of the time also happens is you're going to start here as an employee, right? The startup is going to scale uh, and then you're going to basically be promoted and instead of being a salary, uh, an employee, that's how I did it, you're going to be a freelancer making a management company and you're going to invoice to that startup. That's how it works. Actually, to be honest, very important that we forgot here, guys. It's very, so important what everybody's missing. And this is your network. Net. 
work is your net worth trust me so if you're still playing games all the fucking time you do not go outside of your room you do not go to meetings events you basically do not go to the people that you actually want to become right you will never gonna make it right if you still i swear to god if you still go into be on Discord with the same fucking people, the same jobless losers you're playing Counter-Strike or League of Legends with that even feeding the whole fucking game, right? They're not even good at League. I swear, they, they suck in life and they even suck in League of Legends. I mean, what the hell are these guys, right? You need to find good people. Of course, you cannot throw everybody away. I understand, but it's very important to have some people you can hang out with that actually mean something in life so you can learn from them, so you can reflect on them. It's very, very, very important. It's all hard, but it is what it is. I'm so sorry that I need to say this, but you will figure it out when you get older.